Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the New York Jets and the Tennessee Titans. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime, but kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. We are across the Cumberland River from downtown Nashville at Nissan Stadium in Tennessee. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Jets and the Tennessee Titans. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we take a look at this Titan ball club entering play. They come off a disappointment last time out that put an end to their modest three-game win streak. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they've come in on a nice run of recent form. Four wins out of five. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go, let's go. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a third-round pick back in 2018 out of Oklahoma State. It's Mason Rudolph. So first and 10 now from the 30. On first down, Akers. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. That's uh, a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. He's got his man. That's Wallace. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, here's Rudolph. He's able to find Wallace. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball's thrown. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Rudolph on first down. Well, this is caught by Williams. The offensive starters now for the Jets. And a big key is going to be how can these wideouts create separation from the defensive backs? Because we've seen some early success in the passing game in this one, and that's going to need to continue. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans' 18-yard line. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 
They have the first down with that gain of four yards. Now it's Rudolph off the bootleg. Blitz coming and down he goes. The job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Back to throw Rudolph. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. They'll try to capitalize on play number 11 of this opening drive. Third and goal. Rudolph. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. Good field position to start the drive after the missed field goal. Here's first down from the 42. Well, he had that one on target. That's half the battle. The other half of the battle, however, is distance. And he nearly had that, too. But it was a crossbar that said otherwise, and that'll deny him a shot at three. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to face a third down. Guys, it's game situation. Let's go. On third down, Mariota. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. They go play action. Mariota. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 16 yards there, a Tennessee first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's go. what they Here did there. Go. Yeah, I think a lot Here of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Leonard Williams in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. This situation in the fourth quarter, you go for it. But here, take the points. If you go for it here and don't get it, you and I are missing our plane, and we're going to the post-game press conference to hear him justify it. <laughs> because the next thing we'll see is the owner walking in, announcing a firing. There is no way he goes for it here. Get the field goal. It's the first half of the game. You've got time to make it up. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, a little time? closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They'll run on first down. Akers, 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down.
And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Double tight, guys, double tight. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check. They'll fake the handoff. Now Rudolph. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. Here we go again. Now Rudolph. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Rudolph going to throw again. His pass caught at the four. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. Well, you throw it this close to the goal line, usually you're thinking touchdown. Here they actually complete it but lose yardage. When you're this close to the goal line, you have to anticipate that maybe you're going to see a defense that you can make a case that there's 11 in the box. There's just no room. So I'm with you. You've got to find a way to push things downfield a little bit. Any type of space is better than what we just saw there. And that end result, not one that's satisfactory to them. Well, they need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Field goals, all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Mariota and the Titans break the huddle first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. These two teams all tied after one. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. To throw Mariota. And he finds Parker here, complete. The Jets will bring in a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And that's Elliott, complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Mariota going to bring him up first and 10. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. They'll run with Elliott. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. I'm coming, I'm coming. They'll run it now out of the gun. The Titans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and four. Mariota to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go. And New York set to take the field. 
And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Toe bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a handoff here to his running back, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Rudolph now to throw. Going long here for Wallace, and that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Jets on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 10. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a play fake here on first down. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing is Mariota. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here comes a first down throw from Rudolph. Throw complete to Herndon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On the toss, here's Williams. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to have the Let's first go, down buddy. yardage to the 35. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. This quarterback now, 10 of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first and 10. Now it's Rudolph toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. The Jets on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and seven. And that'll set them back five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Rudolph looking to throw it. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short oh, yeah. of the first, right around the 42. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Come on, baby. Let's go! And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. A big run that time by Elliott. 44 yards on the ground. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. After the penalty, it's Elliott. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown on the season. And the Titans have taken the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. A try here for the extra point. And it is up. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. And the Jets set to take the field. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. On first down, Akers. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Throwing on second down, Rudolph. Herndon's got it complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. So a change of possession here on the punt, and out will come the offense as they take over. Ezekiel Elliott gets ready to go again here on offense as he shuffles onto the field. And with the day he's having as we look at some of these highlights, Maybe he wants to duplicate this pregame meal next week. Whatever it is, guaranteed he will ask for the exact same thing each and every week as long as he continues to run like that. Sometimes it's that simple, partner. Just, yeah. just, you know. And you know how superstitious these guys oh, can be. Oh, there's no doubt, right? If you put your left sock on first and you have this kind of game, you'll keep doing it. In this case, let's investigate that pregame meal. We might need some of that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's working. This is Elliott, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Our score, 10-3 with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. 
And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. From the 22, Mariota. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Mariota now nearly perfect. Nine of ten in this first half. It's first and ten. Now left side on the swing pass. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Mariota. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. First down, Mariota. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll throw again, Mariota. Wide open receiver complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 19. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second down, Mariota again. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And this is Parker complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So instead of forcing the field goal, it'll be first and goal. Yeah, the force was trying to make something happen that just didn't need to, right? I mean, the plays happen, let it go. It's over. Instead, he creates a penalty. Mariota again. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, it's Mariota. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. To the air again, Mariota. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week 6. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. In our game, it was Marcus Mariota with a strong first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This will be fielded at the six. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. To throw on second and six, Mariota. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you <laughs> move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. That throw good for four. It's second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. It'll be a gain of six, and they're going to have a third down. Back to throw, Rudolph. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll lose yardage on this one, back to the 13. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. So that one will be accepted. On the counter, Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. Mariota now from the 50. He gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Mariota from the gun on third down. That one complete, Elliott. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They'll run on first down. T. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. On second down, T, and he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. Get him, boy! Get him, boy! Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. And his kick is right there. It's good, and the lead stretches. 16-3 now. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick. Right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing on second and three. Rudolph. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Hey, check my 50. Mike is a 50. Check my 50. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. On first down, Rudolph. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. A good pick up there of 20 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. So step you off ready? the five yards. Yeah, so partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain there on first and five, and it leaves him with a more standard second down. They stay on the ground. This time it's Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. On first down, Akers. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. They'll keep it on the ground. Akers. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Rudolph. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A gain of four on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really didn't get broken at all because if you're running off the field having allowed a two field goals and three trips in the red zone, you've actually come out ahead. Yeah, flip it over to the other side, the offense, they'll hope to cash in for six next trip. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exact. Rush coming, and he's taken down. You better talk to your boy. 
better talk to your boy. I'm gonna protect you. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. They had a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Third and long here for Mariota. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. A full five-yard loss that time. It's going to make second down pretty tough. On second down now, Akers. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. He's checking They'll keep it on the ground. Akers. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Rudolph on first down. And that is incomplete here. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Rudolph. Got his man there. It's Wallace complete. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Shotgun snap for Rudolph. And it's caught by Herndon. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. They'll run it with Williams. Clayton Gathers makes the stop. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Rudolph. Now they go screen. It's complete. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally, taken down at the 15. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 15-yard line. From the red zone now, Rudolph. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. 
All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. On third and one, here's Mariota. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, w what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's a throw that's taken in out of the backfield. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And let's gaze our attention on Ezekiel Elliott. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block but they're helping out, too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Throwing is Mariota. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the... F it's caught inside the 25. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. A big play that time for the Titans. 46 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Williams make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Well, if you're going to throw the ball on first and goal from the two, the worst thing that should result is an incompletion for you offensively. But, Brandon, this is a different type of football. Back in my day, first and goal from the two, a lot of big people with big neck rolls, they were on the field trying to ram it into the end zone. 
A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. And his kick is good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. A big one there. That gives him a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. And New York set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build on. And is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. He's picked off near his own 48. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. You gotta face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Rudolph looking to throw it. He's got a man that's caught, left sideline. 23 yards to pick up there. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make a play on the football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Rudolph looking to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Off the draw, here's Williams. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Well, look at the clock. You're down two scores. Have to go for this, don't you? And they thought that as soon as they took over possession. It didn't matter where they were on the field. They were always going to be in four-down territory. Backed up in good situation. It didn't matter. So they've been preparing for that on their play sheet the entire time. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now it's Rudolph. And he will find his man on the outside. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Now Rudolph. And his throw here is incomplete. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Rudolph now to throw. Oh, he can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. They got the win last week despite not having any interceptions. Tried to come up with one there, could not. But there's a stat category called PBU, pass breakup. That's important, too, and they got one. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because at least you're there knocking the ball away, offense isn't possessing it, making plays downfield, and you just continue to harass the receivers, harass the quarterback, and maybe the big play does occur down the road. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And this game not quite over yet, and we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. 
And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Elliott. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Here's Elliott, and he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And he's gonna get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? Now Elliott. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. The Titans go victory formation down to a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for Tennessee, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1, and one, and they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the loss will drop them to 4-2 and two on the year. And now they'll head to the bye week as they'll be back in action in Week 8. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.